Hello everyone, today our topic is how to send email contain to telegram channel for specific email IDs. So today our objective is that whenever we get a new email, we want to send these email details to our telegram channel. But we want to do this for some specific email IDs. How I'm going to do that? For that, I'm going to create an integration between email parcel and telegram. For creating this integration, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I'm going to use triggers and action. In trigger application, I will be using email parser. In action application, I will use telegram. How I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And in this video, our objective is that we want to send email details to our telegram group or channel and we only want to send email details for some specific email IDs. And we also want to automate this process so that it can save my time and energy. For this, we need to create an integration between my email account and my telegram. For creating this integration, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take me to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in. So this will take me to this page where we can see all the tools that Pabli offers. So here we are going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to click here on access now button under Pabli Connect. and it will take me to this dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflow that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder from here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now we are going to create a new workflow. For that, I'm going to click here on this blue button called create workflow. And this new window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow and I will name it as my objective which is send email details to Telegram for specific email IDs. Now I will select the folder where I want to save my workflow in, which is home. So I will click on create. And it will take me to the most important window of my workflow. So here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principle on which my workflow works on. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger will be the first step that will get executed in my workflow and action will just follow that. Now first I will set up my trigger application. So in my trigger, I want to forward all my emails. So for that, I'm going to use a tool that Pabli offers, which is email parser. Now I'm going to look for email parser. I will click here. And now I want to create a connection between email parcel and my email account. For that, I will copy this email address and I will go back to my email account. I will go to settings, see all settings. Now I will go to forwarding and POP slash IMAP settings. And I will add a new forwarding address here. So I will click here and I will paste that email address that we have copied from the public connect. I will click on next. I will click on proceed. And it is saying that a confirmation link has been sent to this email to verify permission. So I will click on OK. And I will go back to public connect. And here in the response section, we will find that confirmation link. And in this body text, I'll open this. And here we can see we have this link. So I will copy this link. And I will open a new tab. And I will paste it here. Now we'll click on confirm. And I will go back to my email account. And I will refresh this. So my verification is successful. So I will add this email as my forwarding address. So I will click here and I will click on save changes and I will go back to Pabli Connect and I will click on recapture email parcel response.
Now we'll wait for the new email. So I will go back to my Gmail account and I will refresh this. And here we can see we have this new email. I will open this. So the subject of my email is testing and this is the content. Hello. This is the email for testing and in the end regards. So let's go back to public connect. So here we have this new response with all the email details that we got in the new email. So the subject is testing and this is the address from where I got my new email. And this is the body text. Hello. This is the email for testing regards. Now what I want is that I want to send email details of specific email IDs and I don't want to forward all my emails to telegram for that we are going to use filter and we have this tool in Pabli. So in my actions tab, I will look for filter. I will click here. And in the select label, I will select the from sender. So I will open this. I will open the trigger response. And I will select this from address and my filter type will be equal to and in the value I will give the specific email IDs that I want. So this is my email ID and now I will add the, all the email IDs that I want. So I will click on or condition. I will put the same label. My filter type will be same and now in the value section I will change the email IDs. I will continue this step. And I will add all the email IDs that I want. I will add one more email ID. So suppose these are the email addresses of people in my team and I only want to send email details of these specific email ID to my telegram channel or group. So now I will click on save and send test request button. And now what will happen is that whenever I will get an email from these email IDs, then only the other step will work. Now my purpose is to send email details to telegram channel or group. For that, I will add a new action step. I will click here on add action step. And in this action step, my action application will be telegram. So I will search for telegram. I will click here. I will give my action event. So I will open this tab and send a text message or reply will be my action event. I will click on connect. Click on add new connection. So for connecting my public connect and my telegram account, I need to give a token and for getting the token, you need to follow all this instruction and you can connect your telegram and public connect account. For getting this token, I will go back to my telegram account. I will search for bot father. And I will click on this blue button and I will choose slash new bot. So this will create a new bot for me. Now I have to name my bot. So my bot name will be probably email 154. I will send this and now it is asking for my username for my bot. So my username will be probably email 154 underscore bot. So one thing that you need to keep in mind is while giving the username that your username should always end with underscore bot. So I will send this and this has generated a token for me and this is my bot. So I will copy this token and I will go back to public connect and I will paste it here and now I will click on save. So this has created a connection for me. Now here we have these details. And the first thing it is asking for chat ID so for getting the chat ID. I will go back to telegram. I will first start my chat bot and now I will create a new group. So I will click here. I will click on new group. I will add my members and you can add any member that you want and you need to add your bot here. So I will add my bot, which is probably email. So I will add my bot and I will click on create. I will give a name here. I will name it as Pabli Connect. 
and I will click on create. So this has created a group for me and I will open this and here we have these two members. Now what I want to do is that I have to give admin access to my bot. For that I need to use my mobile phone. In my mobile phone I will open telegram app then my group and in members I will give admin access to my bot. Now I will refresh this. I will open it again and here we can see my bot has admin access so I will close this and what we need is we need chat id for chat id I will look it in my url and here we can see this is my chat id so I will copy this I will go back to public connect and I will paste it here and now I will map my text message so mapping is a process through which we can retrieve the data from previous step and this data will get exchanged in real time with the new data. So for mapping, I will click here and I will select this tab. And first, what I want is, I want the email address from I'm getting the email. So I will type from and, and I will give a colon and I will select the address from where I'm getting the email. And I will map subject. Again, I will give a colon and I will map the subject here. I will search for subject. I will again give a space and now I want contained. I will give colon and I will map the body text. So this will be my message. So first we will get the address from where I'm getting the email. Then I will get the subject. Then we will get the email content that we have received. So I have mapped my text message and we have these other details too. And if you want to fill these details, you can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. Now I will click on save and send text to this button. And we can see we got this response. Let's go back to telegram. So. Here we can see in my telegram group, we have received this message with the same email details. So this is the email address of the sender and this is the subject testing and this is the content. Hello. This is the email for testing regards. So our integration is successful and our workflow is working smoothly. Let's go back to public connect and let's summarize what we did here. First, we have set up our trigger in trigger. We have used the tool email parser through which we are getting all the forwarded email from my account. Then we have set up an action in which we have filtered out all the specific email IDs and then we have set up our last action step and in this our action application was telegram bot and our action event was send a text message or reply. So this is our workflow and I have created this workflow successfully and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow and I will also put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.